Hey, what's up, YouTube? This problem, we have to take the limit as x approaches negative 2 of this expression here. So the first thing you might notice is that the numerator is x cubed plus 8. So it's actually the sum of cubes. So you could probably do some clever factoring here to work this out. Uh, the second thing you might notice is that when you plug in negative 2, um, you get 0 on the bottom. So let's try that. Let's plug in negative 2. So when we do that, we get negative 2 cubed plus 8 over negative 2 plus 2. So negative 2 cubed is negative 8 because the exponent is odd. So this is negative 8 plus 8 over 0. So we end up with 0 over 0. This is an example of what's called an indeterminate form. So whenever you have something like 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, you can use something called L'Hopital's rule. So L'Hopital's rule basically says that when you have one of these two specific indeterminate forms, you can just take the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is the limit as x approaches negative 2. So taking the derivative of the top piece, we simply get 3x squared. And the, the derivative of 8 is 0, so we won't bother to write it. Over, and then the derivative of x plus 2, well, that's just 1, right? The derivative of 2 is 0. The derivative of x is 1. Let me write this one more time. This is the limit as x approaches negative 2 of the quantity 3x squared. All right, good stuff. So now we can plug in the negative 2, right? Replace the x with the negative 2. We drop the limit sign. So this is 3 parentheses negative 2 squared. So negative 2 squared is 4. So this is 3 times 4. And so that's equal to 12. And that is the final answer. So another way to do this problem would have been to use the sum of cubes formula, right, to factor. Uh, but I'll stop the video here. This seems like an easier uh, solution in this case. That's it.